There's some of you watching today that have had to quit halfway through. I sense by the Spirit of God that some of you have started businesses only halfway through. It seemed like everything came against you and you had to quit. You know what? What Stelios did, you know, the old adage, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. It is true. You know, if it doesn't work out the first time, you know what? Learn from your failures. Learn from your mistakes. You know, most success is really learned from failure than from success. And so in 1946, it was the 50th anniversary of the Boston Marathon, and Stelios went to Boston to run in this race. Now, he was very emaciated. He was gaunt. You know, he had almost starved over in Greece because of those five years of the occupation by the Nazis. But he didn't give up, and he thought, I need to run a race for Greece. I need to come to America, and I'm going to run in this race to make the plight of the Greek people made known all over the world. He was running for his country, and he had his slogan was win or die. And, you know, the doctors told him, if you run this race, you are going to die. Literally, they tried to get him to stop running this race because they said, you're not going to be able to take it. You're too weak. Now, there was an American favorite. His name was Johnny Kelly. And he actually was a friend of Stelios. He was the one that, that, that had invited Stelios to come and run in this marathon. And he was the favored one. He had won the Boston Marathon the year before. And basically what happened is they took their mark at the starting line and there was a man that walked up to Stelios and he gave him a piece of paper. And when Stelios looked down, what it said was win or die. And at 36 years old, and he hadn't run in six years, emaciated, gaunt, the doctors told him not to run, he ran for his country. Now there was a point where he fell so far behind that they said he would never catch up but the crowds were cheering for him. They had heard about his story and they started to cheer for him. And against all odds, what happened was Stelios started to catch up to Johnny Kelly, who is the American favorite. And he was wearing number 77 for good luck. But Stelios had his eyes on the prize. He had his focus. He knew that he had to win this battle because he wasn't just running for himself. He was running for his country, Greece. And so the 1946 marathon was an epic battle between Johnny Kelly and Stelios Kyriakides of Greece. He wore number 77 for luck, and basically what happened, coming down to the very end of the finish line, basically what happened, Stelios, he caught up to Johnny Kelly, and he crossed over that finish line, and when he crossed over, he yelled out, for Greece. He yelled out two words, for Greece. What today are you running for? You know, the Bible says that we run in a race, that we run in a race, and we are in a fight. We are in a race. We are in a time that, you know what? It may be hard. It may be times that you want to quit. But you know what? If you will just, there's a time in a runner's, when they're running a race, there's runners, they talk about this runner's wall. That is, you're running and all of a sudden it seems like they come up against this wall that everything in their natural body wants to quit. It wants to shut down. It just says, just give up. But you know what? The runners know that if they will push past that wall, if they will push past everything that their body is trying to say quit, if they will push past that obstacle, that there's something that will happen that will cause them to get this new freedom, this new wind. It's almost like a second wind. And that's what they do. They get a new endorphin levels kick in or something. And they're able to push past that and cross the finish line with in a, in a power that they never knew was there. And that's what Stelios did. He ran for his country and he won. For the next month, what he basically did is he went all over America telling the story about the Greek people and about how they had been impoverished, how their country had been raped and pillaged. But now he was basically giving the American people an opportunity for them to help bring back, basically give them food and clothes and, and give back to the people of Greece during their hardships. And that's exactly what Stelios did. A month later, he basically came into Greece, a million people lined the streets of Greece, a million people, and he brought back 
boatloads of provision for the Greek people, and he became a national hero. Stelios Kyriakides ran for his country and won. What race has God called you to run in today? There's many of you watching the program. You're saying that I know that I've been called to do something for my nation, for my people, just like Martin Luther King, who had a dream, who said, I have a dream. The dream wasn't just for him and his family. The dream was for every person of color. The dream was for every person that would have the same rights, that they didn't have to ride in the back of the bus, that they didn't have to use segregated bathrooms, that they didn't have to basically eat in only certain parts of restaurants anymore, but they had the same rights that everybody else did. You know, Edmund Burke has a quote that says, all that's necessary for evil to prevail is for good men to do nothing. What have you been given today? Maybe you have a message for your generation. Maybe you have an idea that could help change this country. Maybe you have something that you were born to do for such a time as this, even as Esther was. And so I am throwing out the gauntlet to you today. And I'm saying, are you just gonna sit back and watch everyone else do something? Or just say, you know what, somebody else will do it. Let them do it. But why not you? Why not you be the one like Stelios? or like Martin Luther King, that say, we're not, gonna, we're not gonna accept this. We're gonna rise up and do something great for our nation for such a time as this. You know, I'm gonna offer on my program today, it's a two-part CD message, and it's called Dare to Be a Dreamer. It's a two-part message, and it basically goes into many of the concepts that I'm sharing on my show today. And you can have this for any gift of $20 or more, plus shipping and handling. I will send you a copy of Dare to Be a Dreamer. And it's going to help inspire you to put feet to your faith, to basically start putting an action plan together and start actively pursuing those goals and those dreams that God has put into your heart. For even as I said earlier in the program, without a vision, my people perish. And so you can either go to my website at www.marycrowley.com and you can order that on my products page. It's www.marycrowley.com. Also, I would like to hear from some of you. I want to know exactly how the program touched you. You know, so often I don't get emails from people because I never ask. And even the Bible says you have not because you ask not. So I'm asking you today, for you, if you were really touched by this program today, to write me. My email address is mary at marycrowley.com and I will reply back to you. I'm, thanking, I'm thankful that you're listening to the program and that you've been touched by this message today. Remember, God has given you a dream. He said even in Jeremiah 29, it says, I know the plans that I have for you and there are plans to prosper you and to give you a hope for your future. God wants to give you hope, not dope. God wants to give you a plan. But you know what? If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And so you need to order this series, Dare to Be a Dreamer, because it's not only going to share these stories of faith and passion, but it's also going to give you some things and some areas that you can do to make your dreams become a reality. And for those of you watching the program that don't know Jesus Christ, you know, the very first part of getting that dream is actually by asking Jesus Christ to come into your heart because he will give you dreams. He will give you plans. He will give you purposes for your life. And he will show you the way for he says, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes unto the father, but through Jesus. And so today call upon Jesus in time of trouble. It's just calling out to him. It doesn't matter what you say. It's not about the words. It's about asking him to come in because he says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man would open that door, he said, I would come into him and have fellowship with him and he with me. Thanks for watching. Now is the time. I hope to see you next week. And I thank you for watching this. And as I mentioned, write me at mary at marycrawley.com. I'd love to hear from you. God bless you and see you next week.
Be a Dreamer is a two-part tape series which highlights the incredible story of Joseph from the Old Testament. Hear how Joseph's unyielding faith in God dramatically led him from the prison to the palace. Dare to Be a Dreamer will teach you the principles that no matter how bad the circumstances, your tragedies will become triumphs. From Africa to the streets of Aberdeen, Scotland, to the heart of Jerusalem, Mary Crowley Ministries and the Now is the Time television program have been reaching out worldwide with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Her boldness and compassion for others is what makes Mary Crowley Ministries effective. We invite you to be part of this growing and exciting ministry. You know, it's been quite a rewarding year, but there are so many more places to go and people to help. Your partnering with me will enable us to share the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ with stories of faith and hope that you won't see in any other program. And through my conferences and teachings, you'll find encouragement and purpose for your life. Consider joining with Mary and becoming a covenant partner. For your monthly donation of $50 or more, you will receive a DVD of the Now is the Time program, a copy of Mary's book entitled When God Speaks, Mary's monthly newsletter, and special invitations to Mary's conferences. To begin your covenant partnership, please send your tax-deductible gift to Mary Crowley Ministries, 30100 Town Center Drive, Suite 244, Laguna Niguel, California, 92677. Or visit Mary's website at www.marycrowley.com. And that's M-E-R-I-C-R-O-U-L-E-Y. Thanks for watching Now is the Time. I hope to see you next week. God bless you. If you've enjoyed watching this program and have a product or service you would like others to know about nationwide, please consider promoting it on Now is the Time. Advertising your special service or product, book, video, CD, or even your website with us can make a world of difference, and for a lot less than you might imagine. There's also an open invitation to appear as a guest on Now is the Time. Mary's always looking for interesting topics and people from around the world who are making a difference in the body of Christ. Bruce Porter, a fireman chaplain from Colorado, is a man on assignment as he travels to the world's trouble spots to search out those people who willingly and courageously lay down their lives for others. Who are these people? What makes them do it? And where can they be found? Join us to find out more about some of the world's most amazing people in Quest for the Hero Heart. What would you do if you were told that you had a life-threatening brain tumor? This is just one of the many stories in Mary Crowley's new book, When God Speaks. Read about her rebellious youth and conversion and be inspired with stories of faith that will challenge you to be all you can be for the Lord. Nothing is impossible with God and this book will show you how to make your dreams a reality as you trust God and step into your vision. To order When God Speaks for only $14.95 plus shipping and handling, please call the 800 number on the screen or visit our website.